Aloha and welcome to another Roland MC707 tutorial. I am Unit E and in this video I'm going to show you how to get those long samples to stop immediately when you stop all playback. Now if you've loaded a long sample like this one into a drum pad and you want to loop it, you would simply sequence it as the first step in your loop. Now, if you've watched one of my other videos, when you load a long sample like this initially, it will fade away before the end of the sample is done. My advice in that other one was to extend the envelope times for two and three for that sample in the amp envelope to their max and that allowed the song or that sample to play out in its entirety at full volume. I'll quickly show you where that was and then we're going to jump in to why that way may not be the best way to do it if you want it to stop when you hit stop. So to get to that screen where I was talking about the amp envelope, hold shift and hit that pad that has the loop on it. Um, so rock it. Notice I had to hit shift stop to make it stop. Then when you have that pad highlighted, I told you to go to that no sustain mode, keep it there, then hit enter, go to instrument edit, cursor all the way over to amp envelope, and adjust time two and three to be 1023, 1023. When doing that, that gave you full uh, volume for the entire length of the sample. Now, that's great, but when I play it back, it continues to play even when I stop the rest of the pattern. To stop it, I have to hit shift stop after everything else is stopped. To stop everything. Not ideal. Another method that was discovered to lay down the entire thing without having that sustain level changed was to go back to that pad, turn envelope mode to sustain. Now this is the level down from the initial four parameters that you get to change. You'll see that scroll bar in the function flashing. Press the function and you'll jump down to the next level where you change envelope mode to sustain. Now if you've made those changes to your sustain and decay levels you'll have to go back here and I'm going to show you what I do. I go back, I leave my decay where it's at because I'd like it to play at full volume when I hit it. I want it to jump right up to full, but I'm going to take my sustain down all the way. Hold shift to go quicker. And I'm going to take my release down. That way when I let go, it shouldn't fade out. There. Now I just have decay at full. So now when I hit the pad, Bump, so rock and roll. it plays at full volume till I let go and stops immediately. This sets you up to now press and hold the pad as long as you want the sample to play. Okay. Generally you're going to make your measures the length of the sample that way, at the end of it, it automatically repeats off of one trigger. But I'll show you here now how we can do this. I'll go ahead and just let it play. I'm going to hit record, and the next time it comes through, we'll go ahead and hold our sample all the way through the two measures and then let go. Okay. Let's take that step out. Being a drum track, you just got to simply remove that step, and the sound is gone. Three, four, two. Now you can hear it playing along with it, and when I hit stop, so does the sample. There. Doing that will allow you to command the sample this way, as long as you hold it. It plays. It is also velocity sensitive, and you can come up with some pretty creative 
ideas with it this way. I hope this helps with your creativity and your workflow. If it has, give it a thumbs up to let everyone else know. And also be sure to give it a subscribe if you haven't already and ring that bell to know every time I bring out a new tutorial for you. And as always, thanks for watching.